Well, they are New Zealand's well-loved, well-loved, that sounds and makes them sound like they really are, they're not. <laughs> they're our best-loved national treasures. And they're hitting the road on April Fool's Day, bringing to the regions their favourite comedy characters, original music, country music, yodelling, and of course, plenty of mayhem as well. Please welcome to the cafe, the Top Twins. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, they are old. No, really not. You're experienced. That's what I'm going yeah. with now. I'm saying everyone's experienced. Uh, it's so nice to have you guys on the, the show. So what's what's encouraged this tour to the region? Well, um, I think what happened was that I, I started building the little stinky. I've always wanted a, a stinky because the original stinkies, you know, are big and everything. But we made a little tiny stinky and I kept looking at her and I thought she'd look amazing on the road. Oh, nice. <laughs> so I go out the road and then I thought, what are we going to... Because you've got to give her a name. So we gave her a name and we called her Tussock. And then I thought, if we head out on the road, Tussock will be hidden for the hills. And nice. so that's how the name came about. So It's like a bee tour as yeah, well, like, too. You know, we're not we... going to any of the main centres. Wow, that's yeah. so some, Sometimes, you know, when you do those tours, it's... It's like an A-B tour, because they're really... The little towns, they're A's as well, not yeah. the big cities. But... <laughs> it's, it's almost like going back to the, your roots. When we when you get to the point, you know, in our life, that we, we've, 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 I think it's 32 years we've been... Experience. Yeah, 32 yeah. years. <laughs> I think that what happens is you start looking for ways of remembering how you've been performing. Rather than you know trying to make you know new roads and yeah. we're going back to old roads. You don't want to go through the motions. You want to keep something. You know, yeah, yeah. We've got to keep it. something you know old. And everybody wants the characters and they you know they love Kent Mother and Kent Leader and Ken and Ken and you know we'll probably take you know the bowling ladies and the ginghams that we you know in the bag just Excellent. in case you know it might be a different. We never show, quite know, you know what we're going to do on the time. night either. We just pull out whatever we have in the yeah. bag and well, just decide. Well, well I was going to ask you that. How much does it change? Does it just change every night? You know, it changes every night because there's a different audience. Right. So we're using the audience. Every 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 night, you know, and so you get different mm. people and whatever. Some people are a little bit afraid about coming to a top. <laughs> <laughs> we do a little bit of audience participation, but we've had this policy in our lives, and we've never really changed. And and that 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 it was a little saying that we started saying right, right at the very beginning, and that was amuse but never abuse. It's a fine line when you're being when you're doing comedy, yeah. Because you know a lot of you know a lot of comedy nowadays is you know just swearing and abusing. Yes, you're right. And people are laughing at someone else's misfortune. And feeling uncomfortable, which a little is bit, they're yeah. not going to get at your So we shows. don't want to lose the sympathy. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the, you don't want the audience's sympathy to go with the person that you're giving a hard time. So really, what we're trying to do is, if we work with someone, is we're trying to make them look like a star. Yeah. The regions, are they different to perform in than, say, the big cities? Yes, um, yeah, they yeah, are. It's, it's, um, it's more costly in the big cities, of course, you know, to yeah. go to the big cities. But, you know, they're, more to, they're more appreciative when we go to their little spot. If you right. go to their little town, they usually come out in their droves because mm. you know they go, wow, the top twins have come to our little town, so it's a big deal. They, yeah. they come out in their droves, yeah. We did Puna Kaiki years and yeah. years and years ago, <laughs> and there's more people came to the show than what lived there. <laughs> How does that work? Yeah, so it's crazy. Like, you know, yeah. they, they, they came out of the, all the hippies came out of the hills. <laughs> <laughs> it, was like, it was, you know, we did those tours quite a lot, you know, when we first started out. So what? That those tours, you know, they have a, st they're, they're really soft in our hearts, you know, those ones. Mm. No, and Kiwis do appreciate it, and the, you know, they love, they love the Top Twins, and they get a different show every time they come in and see you. But I've read that you know, the show's like two and a half hours long. What are you doing to yourselves? You're well, just working yeah. too well, hard. The great thing is that you know, um, the Stinky is not only a little publicity machine to be on the road with us, but the Stinky is actually where we are going to live oh, on wow. the on the road. So she's just parked outside the local hall. When we finish, we just turn the lights off and go to bed. <laughs> Turn the lights off the wall and jump in the stinky. It's got just we've set it up. It's got two little single beds and a little tiny kitchen. It's got a pot belly stove in it, so it's original, like the old stinky. So we're, it's almost like we're going back wow. to the ways of the old times when when people used to work in those stinkies and live on the road. We've got a big old uh, steel box, like an old case on the front. Yeah. We'll leave that open for anybody to yeah. leave fresh eggs. Home brew, whatever oh, you want. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Bowls. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> you are really well known for your yodelling, obviously. Mike fancies himself as a bit of a singer and everything else. Can you try oh, and, and give him else. a little... And, and, and everything else. He's very good at teaching people to yodel. Can you instantly? give him a little lesson, like a quick little lesson? Yeah, because when I was little, I tried to, you know, I thought about going to Switzerland to learn, but there, there's no, there is no where to learn. There's no yodeling school. There's no school. There's no school. No. Okay, you're bringing Switzerland to me. We just an old wind-up gramophone and took many years to To perfect, it, yeah. You've got to have what they call the break. It's okay. the first thing. Okay, it sweet. It goes like this. So you go from octave to octave. You're going straight go from there to the... Am I break? I think I'm breaking. Yeah, good. I'm good. breaking vases. Oh, car horn. <laughs> more like a donkey brain. <laughs> <laughs> 
little bit of tongue movement there. Okay, yes. A little yes. bit of tongue movement. Yeah. La 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 <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll take a break, we'll come back, we'll talk more about, because um, I want to remind people about that fantastic movie, the documentary of your lives. I've watched yep. that, I think it's brilliant. Uh, we'll talk more about that, and we're going to get a performance as well. So right after the break, the top twins. More from them. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> Welcome back. We're here with the top twins, Linda and Jules. Now, guys, 32 years you've been yeah. performing together. Is there ever been a moment where you're just sick of it? You just wanted to give it a head of guts all of each other? No. And that's ever. remarkable ever. for sisters. Yeah. The thing is that, you know, um, it's, we've, we've, we haven't made it a job. It's a lifestyle, what we do, mm. you know. And we take a little bit of time off, you know. We've both got our little lifestyle blocks and our horses. And every now and then we go home and we've just done a five-day clinic each. Jules did five days. I did five days down there with a, a clinician from America. You know, learning how to do horsemanship, you know, a little oh, bit wow. better with our horses. So, you know, you've got to take a little bit of time out, but, you know, there's nothing more exciting than going on the road in New Zealand. Why well, would you want to give it up? Yeah. You get paid for dressing up and being silly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we don't want you it's to give the it up. the best yeah, job sure. in the world. Yeah. <laughs> and it's the most beautiful country in the world to travel in, yeah. you know? So is that, is that your secret? Is it appreciation of family, appreciation of, you know, the talent that you've got and sharing it with everybody else? Because you've given such a tremendous gift to this country. Is I that think the it's a more of an appreciation of actually of New Zealand. Right. In some ways. Because we're, we're quite a remarkable little country. You don't yeah. really know about New Zealand until you go away from it. You know, we always whinge a bit about the weather and we, you know, you know every now and then we all get, you know, think we're a bit, de you know, deprived of things. But really, when you have a look at the big picture, we, we're actually living in paradise. Yeah, we, we don't really have Donald are. Trump, do we? Yeah, that's no. right. So we're, we're, <laughs> yeah. we're, we're, we're for a very long time in this country that you, you can stand up and you can make a change. You can make a difference. Yeah. Look at all the things that we've been part of, you know, the, the nuclear issue, Springbok tour, Bastion mm. Point, all those things. Yeah. People, you know, they gave a damn mm. yeah. in some ways, and it's still happening. It's still and like we've that. always been way ahead of the time, you know. They gave women the, the vote, you know, in, first in New Zealand. Yeah. You know, we can get married. You know, gays and lesbians yeah. can get married. You know, Australia's still struggling. Yes, that. they are. I mean, Useless. You yeah. know. So, you know, we're way ahead of the time. And I think that's why I love that documentary, Untouchable Girls. I mean, it's resonated around the world as well. Yep. Uh, did you guys freak out when you looked back at what you had done? No, it was a we great felt catalog. really proud of what we'd done. Oh, nice. You know? yeah. And the great thing, we've had some beautiful stories, but one of the best stories, I think, is that we apparently, we are really big gay icons in North Korea. Oh, wow. <laughs> that okay, is excellent. That's an interesting yeah, take. The, yeah. the, 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 the movie was smuggled in to North Korea because, you know, even though they say there are no gays and lesbians in North Korea, there are. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, yeah, they're just keeping it quiet. Yeah. But there was an <laughs> underground movement who smuggled that into North Korea and we got the word back saying that they were, they were you know, really uh, just thought it was amazing. Oh, no, so that's, that's pretty brilliant. cool. That, that is yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Imagine if you could go there for a tour. Imagine what it would be like. Not that that's We'd ever probably happened. be killed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'd be at the airport. It'd be, it'd be like, we'd be in jail. Yeah, we'd be in jail. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. You know, New Zealanders are really, we're soft. We're a soft country. We're yeah. really soft. We're meaning that we really have a heart. Mm. Yeah. We don't mind paying for you know the for people to be on the dole. We we don't mind paying for ACC so that people have you know don't have to worry about getting hurt. In some ways, people there's a lot of people outside of our country who are like angry about that sort of stuff. You know, I'm not paying for someone else's problem. Yeah. And really, in a lot of ways, New Zealanders are say, "Oh yeah, I'll give a little bit." Yeah. yeah. No, and thank you for reminding us that too, because quite often we forget. You yeah. know, we're just too busy and we don't take time to think about those things. Yeah. Um, that's why we love you too, though. Yes. Um, look, best of luck for heading for the hills, the tour. Yep. Um, we'll give some details on how people can get to that very soon. It starts April first, but right now, a performance, please. We'd love to hear okay. you. Uh, what are you going to do for us? We're going to sing a song called Tomboy. Yes. And we actually, this, this song's all about uh, us growing up, but it's also the there's this huge sort of amazing thing that's happening. Young women are heading into the hills and working on big high country stations. I've met about sort of 10 young girls 
just in the last you know, couple of months who are actually working on big hill country stations. They've got a horse, a, a big team of dogs, and out they go, you know, mustering. And so we're going to dedicate that to all the girls up in the hills. Awesome. Nice work. OK, <laughs> folks, here it is. The Top Twins with Tomboy. Yeah. <laughs> She bucked the system, got out of the kitchen, now she's riding the rain. Oh, this girl will ever change. This girl will ever change. Heading for the Hills Tour kicks off in Ashburton on April the 1st. For all the details, head to their website, toptwins.com. Thank you April so 1st, much. It sounds like we're not doing it. I know, it. yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, no, they're <laughs> definitely going to be here. Definitely April we'll be first. There. Don't <laughs> you worry. Ashburton, first show. Yeah. Nice. You know. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. <laughs> it's not real. an April Fool's joke. Can I just say, that was an amazing song, and thank you so much for coming yeah, on the cafe. Best of luck for the tour, Hills. Yeah, nice. Okay, it's time to catch up with Holly.